Greetings, this is Chris from Tantalizing Tech. CES 2023 completed recently, and Lenovo has unveiled some really exciting and new tech. This particular episode will only focus on the new Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 laptop. Please stick around until the end to see if this laptop is tantalizing. But first, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment saying, I subscribe, and I will do my best to personally reply to as many comments as I can. As I mentioned, we will now discuss the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 laptop. In terms of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 laptop, this laptop comes in deep black with an optional carbon fiber weave cover. In addition, Lenovo includes the Intel Iris XE graphics card with this laptop. Furthermore, Lenovo includes the combination headphone and microphone jack. Lenovo also includes a nano SIM slot for this laptop. In terms of looking at this Lenovo laptop on the left-hand side and going from left to right, we have two USB-C Thunderbolt 4, USB 3.2 Type-A Gen 1 ports, and also an HDMI 2.0B port. Also, if you're looking at the right-hand side of this Lenovo ThinkPad, we have an audio combination headphone and microphone jack, a nano SIM slot, a USB 3.2 Type A Gen 1, and also a Kensington security slot. Also, if you're looking at the right hand side of the laptop again, you also have the headphone and microphone combination jack the Nano SIM slot, the USB 3.2 Type-A Gen 1 slot, and the Kensington Security slot. Furthermore, if you're also looking at the X1 Carbon laptop with the carbon fiber top, you also have on the right-hand side a headphone and microphone combination jack a nano SIM slot, a USB 3.2 type A Gen 1 slot, and a Kensington security slot. On the left hand slide, I'm sorry, the left hand side of the X1 Carbon laptop, we also have two USB type C Thunderbolt 4 ports. We have a USB 3.2 Type-A Gen 1 slot and a HDMI 2.0B slot. Furthermore, this laptop also includes up to two terabytes of PCIe NVMe Gen 4 M.2 SSD drive storage option. If you're looking at the back of the laptop uh, with the rear facing uh, picture that we have here, it comes with the display options of a 16 by 10 version, 14 inch with 2.2K, which is 2240 by 1400 IPS, 300 nits, 100% sRGB, and an anti-glare display option. 
Furthermore, there's also a 16 by 10 version, 14 inch with 2.8K, 2880 by 1800 OLED Dolby Vision Agaris, which stands for anti-glare, anti-reflection, and anti-static. 400 nits, 100% of the DCIe P3 gamut iSafe display. In addition to these options, there's also a 16 by 10 version, 14 inch WUXGA 1920 by 1200 display with IPS, 400 nits, 100% sRGB, low power, anti-glare, and also iSafe. If none of those options appeal to you, we also have a 16 by 10 version, 14 inch display with WUXGA 1920 by 1200 IPS, 400 nits, 100% sRGB, low power, anti-glare touch, iSafe display. And if none of those appeal to your senses, we also have a 16 by 10 version 14 inch with a WUXGA display 1920 by 1200 IPS, 500 nits, 100% sRGB, low power, anti glare touch, eye safe with the TUV e privacy, with the, which is the European Privacy Seal certification. Furthermore, L Lenovo includes the Intel 13th generation core i7 processors with vPro. In addition, an option is an Intel Core i5 P series processor with vPro. Also, this laptop weighs in at only 2.48 pounds or 1.12 kilograms. Lenovo includes up to 64 gigabytes of LPDDR5 memory. Furthermore, Lenovo includes a backlit keyboard and a fingerprint fingerprint reader with this laptop. As mentioned before, on the right hand side of the Lenovo X1 Carbon laptop, we also have an audio jack, which is a combination headphone and microphone jack, a nano SIM, a USB 3.2 Type A Gen 1 port, and also a Kensington security slot. Configured with the Lenovo X1 Carbon with the carbon fiber top, we also have the Intel Wi-Fi 6E option. Furthermore, we also have the Bluetooth 5.1 option for connectivity. In addition, we also have options like 5G Sub-6 Cat 20 LTE with eSIM and physical SIM in addition, if you wanted to use the 4G CAT16 LTE option with eSIM and physical nano SIM, we also have that option also. Furthermore, if you really wanted the 4G CAT4 LTE option with eSIM and physical nano SIM, that option is available. In terms of the X1 Carbon, we also have a 57 watt hour battery. We also have a, a battery that supports rapid charge. In addition, there's a Type C 65 watt AC power adapter that is included. In terms of audio, we have the Dolby Atmos, which is 
included with this laptop. We also have Dolby Voice included with it. Furthermore, we have four 360-degree quad array microphones. In addition, with this laptop, we have a full HD RGB 315.6 times 222.50 times 15.36 millimeters camera option with webcam privacy shutter option. In addition, there is also a full HD IR hybrid option with again the same specifications as the camera I mentioned above but with privacy with webcam privacy shutter option furthermore there's also the full hd and ir mipi camera with the same type of specifications as above with webcam privacy filter and also computer vision option and if those that appeal to your senses we also have the hd which is the 14.96 millimeter camera option for this laptop and the of you are asking is is this laptop tantalizing and before we get to that answer to that question I wanted to remind you to subscribe if you feel that this video is tantalizing. Leave a comment saying, I subscribe, and I will do my best to personally reply to as many comments as I can. And now, the decision as to whether the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 is tantalizing. We just received the verdict and the verdict is tantalizing. The reason being is described in the tables that I will show. In terms of tantalizing features, I've listed tantalizing features in the left hand column. In terms of monotonous features, I've listed those in the center column and the unalluring features I've enlisted in the right hand column. I will go over the tantalizing features, but in terms of the monotonous and unalluring features, you can feel free to pause the video and go over those features by yourself. So getting back to the tantalizing features, in terms of the webcam, we it comes with three different options, a full HD RGB camera option with webcam privacy shutter, or you can have a full HD IR hybrid camera option with webcam privacy shutter, or you could have a full HD and IR MIPI camera with webcam privacy shutter and computer vision. In addition, the memory is up to 64 gigabytes of LPDDR5. And looking at more tantalizing features, we have video and the display options for this laptop. We have a 16 by 10 version, 14 inch, 2.2K, 2240 by 1400 display option with IPS, 300 nits, 100% sRGB and, and, and anti-glare. In addition, we also have 16 by 10 version with a 14 inch display with 2.8K, 2880 by 1800 OLED, Dolby Vision, Agaris, which is anti-glare, anti-reflection, anti-static, 400 nits, 100% of the DCI-P3 gamut, and iSafe.
In terms of other tantalizing options, we also have two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. Furthermore, we also have an audio combination jack with headphone and microphone. And you might say, Chris, why is that tantalizing? Well, a lot of laptop manufacturers are leaving this off of laptops. So instead of including this option, you will have to carry around different types of connectors to have headphone or microphone combination jack, or you could use the Bluetooth option. In terms of weight, this laptop comes in at 2.48 kilo, 2.48 pounds or 1.12 kilograms. Furthermore, this laptop supports rapid charge and type C 65 watt AC power adapter. Other tantalizing features includes up to two terabytes of PCIe NVMe Gen 4 M.2 SSD storage. In addition, you have the deep black with optional carbon fiber weave cover. You also have a nano SIM slot so you can do 5G or 4G connectivity. In addition, you also have a backlit keyboard with fingerprint reader. Furthermore, Lenovo also includes specifications to the MIL STD 810H standard for durability and drop ability. Furthermore, there is also the lock on leave with presence detection for security. In addition, there's the DTPM 2.0 chip for security. And furthermore, there's the firmware shield, which is also another security feature. Again, I want to thank you for watching Tantalizing Tech. I have been your host, Chris. Once again, I wanted to remind you to subscribe if you feel that this video is, you know, tantalizing. Leave a comment saying, yeah, you guessed it, I subscribe. And I will do my best to personally reply to as many comments as I can. Wow. Now that was tantalizing. Thank you.